ಸರ್ವಧನಂ ಪೃಥಕ್ ಚ ನಿಯಮಾಕ್ಯಂ ತ್ವಿತ ಕೃತ್ಸ್ನಚಾರ್ಯಭಟ ಪ್ರಣೀತ ಗಣಿತ ದೃಷ್ಟ ಗುರೋರಂತಿ ದಿಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಚ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕಾಸ್ ವೈ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ರೆಫರ್ ಟು ಆಸ್ ಆರ್ಯಭಟ ಈಸ್ ಇಸ್ ನೇಮ್ ಆರ್ಯಭಟ ಆರ್ ಆರ್ಯಭಟ್ಟ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಟೆಲ್ ಯು Arya as we all know is the respectable one in Sanskrit. While Bhatta can be translated to a warrior, Bhatta translates closely to a scholar. So what you are saying is Arya Bhatta was a respectable warrior. Ahem, not really. He was a scholar both in math and astronomy. Then why on earth do we call him Arya Bhatta? There is something called chandas or meter in Sanskrit. where only certain alphabets fit into certain parts of the shloka the word aryabhata has synced well in most of these places and became a standard okay and they started using it that widely fine then let me get back to my shlokas well this one sounds interesting shashtyabdanam shashtir yada vyatita strayascha yuga padah ತ್ರ್ಯಧಿಕ ವಿಂಶತಿರಬ್ಧ ಮಮ ಜನ್ಮನೋ ವ್ಯತೀತ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಮನ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ ದ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಮೀ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಮೀ ಇನ್ ದ ಬುಕ್ ಐ ರೋಟ್ ಆರ್ಯ ಭಾಟಿಯ ಹಿಯರ್ ಐ ರಿವೀಲ್ ಮೈ ಏಜ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ರಿಡಲ್ ಅ ರಿಡಲ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಯು ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಲೇಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಟು ಮೀ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಶ್ಯೂರ್ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸಾಲ್ವ್ ಇಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಯು ಗೋ when 60 times 60 years after three quarters of the current mahayuga have elapsed 23 years have passed since my birth that sounds confusing wait kaliyuga began 5122 years ago which is 3102 bce for more info on hindu time cycle you can visit this link here since i know the concept of time cycle it is easier for me to calculate Firstly, 60 times 60 years is 3,600 years. Right. So, after Satya Yuga, Treta Yuga and Dvapar Yuga, which form the first three three-fourths of the Maha Yuga, you are referring to Kali Yuga, the current one. In this Yuga, when 3,600 years have passed, you were just 23 years old. Wow, so young. If we add 3600 years to 3102 BCE you were 23 years old when it was 499 CE so you were born in 476 CE true that great experience talking to you aryabhata dhanyavad hey wait a moment oh no he's gone now how do i find his birthplace i am here don't worry Aribhata was born in Kerala in the Asmaka region. No, no. No final verdict can be given regarding his birthplace. It is also said that he wrote the book in Kusumpura, which is close to Patliputra, which was the capital city of the then Gupta Empire. Why? Some even conjecture that he was born in other parts of the south too. Oh, all right. I am fine with any place starting from the Himalayas to Kanyakumari. Absolutely. Some people also claim that he was designated as the head of a university where he had access to an observatory in Kusumapura. Also, I strongly believe that he was an author of at least three books of which unfortunately only one is surviving. That is Aryabhatiya. Correct. This masterpiece is an astronomical treatise. a summary of hindu math amazing please continue i want to know more about this masterpiece of course it consists of 121 verses of which 33 verses are dedicated to math giving 66 math rules 13 intro verses 25 verses on reckoning of time and planetary models 50 verses on sphere and eclipse few These are outstanding achievements in those days. Not at all. We are yet to start to talk about his achievements. Uh-oh. His math verses cover algebra, place trigonometry, spherical trigonometry, continued fractions, table of signs, sums of powers, quadratic equations, 
Aribhata has also used an alphabetical notation for representing 10 power 18. He has been the first person to have used the place value system. Which means he has used 0 too. Obviously, without 0, it is impossible to calculate 10 power 18. He has solved algebraic problems using Kuttaka method. These achievements are indeed extraordinary and useful. Yes, in Bharat, no ancient mathematician has ever written a book on pure mathematics. Math has always been a part of an application, and mostly this application has been astronomy or astrology. True. Before I leave, let us quickly list the prominent achievements one by one. The value of pi is equal to 3.1416, the value that we use even today. Even this value he calls asana or approximate. Two methods of computing the sign table. The theory of solving indeterminate equations. The earth is spherical and that it rotates, including calculating the period of one sidereal rotation of the earth as 23 hours, 56 minutes and 45.1 seconds. The modern value is 23 hours, 56 minutes and 45.091 seconds. He determined the length of the solar year, that is 365 days, 6 hours, 11 minutes, 29.64 seconds, which is very close to the modern value. He gave the correct method for calculating the celestial latitude of both superior and inferior planets. His book is perhaps the earliest text on astronomy to use the radian measure of 3438 units for the radius of the circle. He was the first to describe the true cause of lunar and solar eclipses, that they were due to the shadow of the earth and moon. He also said that the moon was a non-luminous body. Lastly, let us see what Bhaskara I has to say about Aryabhata in one of his shlokas. Yes, I will. Don't narrate the shloka, just explain its meaning. Aryabhata is the master who, after reaching the furthest shores and plumbing the inmost depths of the sea of ultimate knowledge of mathematics, kinematics and spherics, handed over the three sciences to the learned world.